What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm Sam. And I'm Taylor. New location unlocked. I know. I kind of like it. I do too, but at the same time, I kind of... I don't know. We're doing one camera right now, and I don't know how to feel about it being so far away because I am so used to locking eyes with my camera and like mm-hmm. talking to my camera, but that one's really far right now. So I'm like, where the fuck do I stare? Just look right into the lens. I, yeah, but it's so hard. I'm blind. Like that right now is like a little blur ball. I just stare into my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> then I'll get very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're in Taylor's apartment right now recording. How fun. Yeah, I just got this couch today, and he was setting it up, and he's like, um, it's missing parts, and I was like, fuck, because we needed to do this, so I'm like, I kind of kind of need a couch. Uh, luckily, he happened to have the same parts in his tool bag. Shout out, I think his name was Dave. Shout out you, Dave, from Wayfair. <laughs> what a it king. was a Wayfair guy, not No, I don't Rabbit? know, it's like, Cause fuck I booked Rabbit. it through Wayfair. Like, when I bought the couch, I selected, like, assembly. Ah. Uh. So I don't know how they, I don't know how that works. Did I tell you how I got a couch, pull out couch for the bedroom? Yes, you did. You guys remember the little fucking hissy fit I was having about Bed Bath & Beyond with my Murphy bed. Finally ordered a pull out couch, so that will be here in like a few weeks. Where'd you get it? I got it from this, I don't even know how to pronounce it, Jose and Maine. I was, I literally on Google just typed out like pull out couch. And there's actually surprisingly not a lot for like the width that I was looking for. And that website had one. It was like $1,700, which is not bad because the fucking Murphy bed that I got was $1,800. So. I love my new couch. It's so cute. Like, I'm obsessed. And it was cheap. Is it two pieces? Yeah. Okay. Because I was going to say, much. how did he like carry this up here? But now I see. It was in two is. big boxes. Yeah. That I had to bring up from the package room. And every time I did, I looked like a fucking idiot bringing it up. Wait, you had to bring this up? Yeah, from the pack. They weren't heavy, but I just had to slide it. So, and they have dollies in our like lobby. So, okay. He I assembled like, it for me. So he came like a different day. A different day, yeah. I've had this sitting here for like a f- couple of days. Oh, because usually like with West Elm and Pottery Barn, like they deliver yeah, it no, white glove. Like It wasn't white glove delivery. Oh. It was like assembly. Like okay. It was just assembly. And then the first, I don't know. I had to reschedule it because I only had one box. It was a whole thing. But I finally have a couch, so it's looking more like a home. But anyways, enough about couches. <laughs> That'll be the title. One thing about couches. Yeah. Um, yeah. One thing about me is by I've been watching TV like nonstop and I have not me been like too. this. Me too. In so long because my boyfriend obviously was allergic to the cat in the old place we were living in. So we couldn't sit on the couch and just watch movies. But now like it's such a different concept. Like we can sit on the couch, watch movies, watch TV. And even when I'm alone, like I'll do it too. Mm-hmm. So I have a massive list of Things that I've been just watching. I, I've never watched so much TV in my life. I'm watching a lot of TV too, which it I don't know how to explain it. When I'm in a relationship, I watch more TV because it's yeah. like, oh, let's watch this show together or watch this movie together. I See, I'm been the reading. opposite because I'm watching like reality TV and he's not into that. <laughs> I haven't been reading. I just started reading again. I took like a week or two off. I don't know. I was just in a little bit of a rut with it. And I've been watching TV and falling asleep to it, which is not good because... That's like not good for your sleep, but I'm just so addicted to the Fosters that I can't stop. Yeah, I I don't even know what I've been addicted to right now. I am now newly addicted to on Peacock Love Island All Stars. Did not even know that was a thing until I went on because I was going to go on to Peacock and watch mm-hmm. um, the Real Housewives. Oh, you're going to watch the Real yeah. Housewives? Okay, because I was watching Buying Beverly Hills and With obviously, Mauricio. yeah, and obviously, so I was like, hmm, like. I kind of want to watch this. Like, so I was like, going to go watch it, which I still haven't started it yet, but I will. Oh. And yeah, I was going to start it. Well, Summer House is on right now, which is this season. The drama, it's like, if you watch, it's like the Carl and Lindsay stuff. So Carl and Lindsay were engaged last summer and this summer, like it's already known to the public that they broke off their engagement like a few weeks before their wedding. But this is the season that it's all like filmed. Yeah. So we get to watch them break off their engagement like a week before their wedding on reality TV and it's so good. And I'm obsessed with Paige. Like, I just fucking love Summer House. But it's every week and I have to wait for it to come out. Which is so lame. Yeah, I don't like... At least with those types of shows, it's nice. Buying Beverly Hills, the last fucking season was in 2021. Mm. And I'm like, I really hope I don't have to wait. Because it's only 10 episodes for the new season that just came out. And I'm like, I don't want to have to wait another year or two for the next season. Like, I hope they're already recording it. My mom loves the Housewives. You should text her about it. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> didn't realize how many there were. Like, I knew there oh. were quite a bit, but yeah. when I was looking, I was like, 
fuck? It's one of those. Obviously, I want to do Be- Beverly Hills, but I was like, since my mom watched it ever since I can remember, it's one of those things where I think I've seen like lots of seasons, like unintentionally. New Jersey is my favorite. Yeah, and now that we've watched some, or at least I have started to watch so many. TV shows, when we get into the hot gossip, I have like quite a things few things that say. I want to talk about in some of these shows that I've been watching. Love. Uh, my one thing about me is I discovered, it's like one thing about me and a favorite. I discovered I love sprinting. Like <laughs> sprinting is my new fucking shit. It's so fun. I've always loved it during COVID. That's all I would do in lockdown was like sprint my neighborhood five million times. I'd go to tracks. I'd fuck that shit up. But like, Ever since going to Barry's every week, like sprinting is so fun. I can't do long distance running like you because I don't have the attention span for that. Mm -hmm. I get way too bored. But sprinting, so fun. Yeah, running is just very therapeutic. I have never been so deep in my thoughts and reflected so much on life until I started running. I just like sprinting. See, it like doesn't make me do that because it's so short. It's just like fun. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Sprinting's like, you gotta like like, fun, like hype music. Yeah, like the music just gets you going and you just like. It's like, it like lets out your anger. I yeah. don't know. It's yeah. so fun. I'm obsessed. My favorite of the week is Dune 2. And I'm so upset that I was put on such a fucking cliffhanger at the movies the other night that there was obviously going to be a Dune 3. I just wish I got more clarity on what is going on in Dune 2, but I didn't. So if you have not watched Dune, you got to go into the theaters and watch it. I don't think it's out into like being able to watch it at home until May 11th. So you're gonna have to wait a while but i definitely think you need to go watch it in the theater i'll see if i ever watch it yeah and uh, hot take i know like the shitty movie theaters are for the most part in the malls like i've never seen one of the really good movie theaters in the malls Mm -hmm. they're always like the older ones not recliner whatever you can't get food but i like them better because you can go to the cheesecake factory (laughs) like my new thing is cheesecake factory movies buffalo tender caesar salad movie theater perfect combo that sounds fire yeah what is your favorite of the week my favorite of the week is casey musgraves my new hyper fixation at the moment is casey musgraves i was anti-women country singers i don't know i'm just like a misogynist i don't know i like never listened to girl country singers ever i don't know why the fuck i was sleeping on this girl her music is so good i had this epiphany that my favorite noah it's Khan's a big word is it I just would never use that in my entire life. <laughs> my favorite Noah Kahn song is featuring Casey Musgraves. And my favorite Zach Bryan song is featuring Casey Musgraves. So I was like, I think I just like Casey Musgraves. Like, maybe that's why I like these songs. Oh, my God. It's so good. Uh, speaking of other movies and just, like, singers in general, I watched Roadhouse, which features Post Malone. Oh, He's, yeah. like, an actor in it. That's so weird. But very quickly, like at the very beginning of the movie. But I just I don't thought even it was know what what Roadhouse is. Okay, the guy. I'm like texting this guy, and he's like, "I'm watching Roadhouse." And then two seconds later, you post on your story that you were watching Roadhouse. And it just came out that like two days before. Okay, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Yeah, no, but it was cool to see someone like that, like Post Malone, acting. I like Post it. Malone and Morgan Wallen have a song. I saw movie. that. I is it out? It, I don't. It. It actually. I might feel be. like it's not. Megan Maroney just le- released new music. Like everyone's releasing new music, and it's, I'm Hozier just released new music. I'm, it's a good day. It's a good week for, mm-hmm. for music people. It's really, it's really something. Let me look. I don't know who it would be under Morgan Wallen or. Well, I feel like everyone and their mother would have been reposting it onto their fucking story. I know. I just yeah. No, it's not. Um, bro, Morgan Wallen with the short hair is just so bad. Yeah. So All right, hot gossip. I think we need to get right into it with the Kate Middleton thing. Yeah, it's honestly like really sad. It is. It was just and like I such feel a horrible. Joke. And you know what? This just goes to show how fucking extreme people take things on social media. And it like backfires. I bet you everyone that had talked about it feels guilty. It was like a, the, the title of our last episode was like one thing about Kate Middleton and like she's cancer. No, I know bad yeah it is like, really bad and i okay so if anyone remembers my dad had colon cancer but i think she hasn't announced the cancer but i think it's colon cancer colon cancer is the number one cause of death in young I know. people right now i know like young like it's just like appearing in young people and i want to put that out there to like anyone that like is listening to this because i know there's a lot of people that listen to this and have a family member that actually it's still colon cancer awareness month yep march um still is but i just want to put it out there like 
my dad had stage four colon cancer, 5% chance to live, or 8% chance to live five years. He beat those odds. So putting positive energy out there for not only Kate Middleton, but anyone else like listening to this, because it's a fucking scary world. And I feel like I'm seeing so much colon cancer stuff no, it's, right now. It's literally the number one cause yeah. of death. And like, they don't know why it's skyrocketing in young people. Because you get colonoscopies for like 40 uh, 50? Well, I have to get mine Early, next year. Right, but dad, I think for but. the most part, it's like 40 or something yeah. like that. But now it's in like such young people that I wonder how they're going to mm-hmm. switch that. It's very scary. It's very sad. But yeah, it's really sad. Yeah, I know. Because I, I saw something that she had to get abnormal sur- or ab surgery, whatever, but then also has a poop bag. Mm. I don't know what you call it. What is the fucking... Um, mm. I don't know. My dad I don't would know just call it a poop called. bag. <laughs> poop bag on your fucking stomach. But yeah. So that's just where my assumptions are going. It's not offensive if you call it a poop bag because your dad with cancer called it that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. (laughs) Yeah. So you can call it whatever you want. (laughs) But yeah, no, it actually is really, really fucking sad. And it was one of those like, damn, like we played ourselves. The internet played ourselves. Like everyone was like, she's getting a BBL, which I wonder. She doesn't take me as the type to find. I'm trying to put it in my shoes. Low key, I think if it was me and people like the things people were saying were funny. I mm. think I would laugh. Yeah. I, I think, like, because I don't know if she doesn't really strike me as the type of person. I don't know her personality well enough. If I was sick in the hospital, but I think she's, like, doing okay now. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, you right. don't really, like, get sick from cancer. Yeah. Or, like, okay, hear me out. This is obviously case to case, but, like, for the most part with, like, it's chemo slow, and, like, slow. the the stuff that you're doing to cure yourself is what's making you, you kind sick. of more sick. Right. Um, but I just, I'm trying to put into perspective that if it was me going through something and the internet was saying like these really like funny things, like I would, I would laugh Yeah. and I would kind of enjoy the, the humor. Yeah. I mean, like you said, we don't know her fucking sense of humor, but I would do the same thing. Yeah. I would be like, wait, this is like actually kind of funny that there's like laughter for the situation. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Sending love. That's so sad. I know. Yeah. Basically, it is sending love. Mm. Before we move on to like something less serious, there's like one more thing that I want to talk about that like actually is kind of serious that I saw this morning. Did you see that bridge that collapsed? Dude, I did see that. What the fuck? New fucking fear unlocked. First of all, that's so sad. I'm going to be going 70 miles an hour over bridges from now on. No, so sad. I can't stop thinking about the people that were involved in that. I I can't. Mm -hmm. I, I woke up. It was the first thing I saw on TikTok. Especially because it was a massive cargo ship. And it was and a I massive you, bridge. It was like the third longest bridge. Yeah, but I bet you the people driving saw the boat like coming. Coming. And we're like, what the fuck? And we're like, unless you're just like someone blaring music, really not paying attention. But like you had to have seen that ship like coming right at the bridge. And like their lights were going out. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, really, really sad. Really, really scary. I can't stop thinking about it. I thought when I first saw the clip, I thought it was like A.I., or like an action, like it didn't look, I was like, there's no the way. The clips that, that I've that seen are really fucking far away. That, it's like a blur. Like, you can't really I see just, it. I was like, there's no way that happened. I know. Like it was so catastrophic that I was like, what is this fake? Like that didn't happen. I know. No way that that happened. Dude, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the stuff that I have to talk about is a little bit like. Ugh. What do you mean? <laughs> what the fuck does okay, that mean? Okay. Well, like, like not sad, but like. Serious? Yeah, Serious. So this is not hot gossip. This is sad news. No. Okay. Well, I don't know. It depends how you take this next one. You've probably okay. seen it. But Hallie, New York City influencer, getting fucking punched in the face. Okay. Also, that's happened to like so Four many people. people. No, like 13. Like there's a, a lot. Yeah. Like this one girl said she saw 13 videos. This this girl posted one the week before and people were like, you're making fun of her. She's like, no, I posted this first. Like people thought she was mocking her. Yeah, no, I saw that on their one. Free page. That shit with Hallie is insane i love her though because the fact that she just opens up her fucking phone and starts recording like that's not something i would do in a moment like that like but the bump on her head i know no it did go down quickly she posted yeah, like but it was huge. she posted like seven or eight tiktoks within 12 hours and the bump was like almost gone it's so wild because the way men don't have to fear this I know. it's so weird that men live in a world where they are not scared to walk i know it's, it's crazy I, I especially in broad daylight yeah like in the the guy was genuinely just so fucking pissed off that 
she was walking and looking at her phone on the side of the road. Like, she wasn't doing anything to cause harm to anyone. She was just walking, holding her phone and not paying attention. And this man was walking his dog and got pissed about it and socked her in the face. Even if she was doing something slightly wrong, I don't know what she would have to do for a grown man to deck her in the face. I know. Insane. No, it's it's really scary. And every time I was talking to this guy, like, explaining that I'm terrified to walk the sidewalk because to, like, go to his place, I have to park, like, a block away. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was like, it's terrifying to walk that block. Like, I'm so scared. And he's like, why? I'm like, you d- you just don't get it, but it's actually terrifying. I always forget. Like, I kind of blocked this out of my memory, but I have gotten punched in the face by a man, a random man on the side of the road. A random yeah. man? Yeah. Have I ever told you this story in college? Yes. So I think so. For anyone that hasn't heard this story, I was at a Boston College football game and it was after the game. We were on the side of the road at a pizza shop. One of my girlfriends was hammered and just needed to sit down because she was probably going to throw up. So I placed her on the side of the road, went inside to get pizza, come back out. This man starts yelling at me for leaving my friend on the side of the road. And I'm like, bro, like, I know my friend. Like, she's right there. Like, I, I know she's not going <laughs> to do anything. Like, she's fine. This man starts to get in an argument with me and then just socks me in the face and runs away like full on sprints away i fell to the ground and then my guy friends sprinted after him and then couldn't find him and came back to me and then the cops came and the ambulance came the ambulance were like oh get in the car and i'm like "Mm, no not paying that like whatever fucking two thousand dollar fee for getting in that ambulance i'm okay didn't tell my dad because i was too scared to tell my dad because i felt like if i told my dad he probably would have gone to the police like Mm -hmm. made sure he found that man i was like let's just move on from this but it was fucking scary. That is terrifying. I know. I've never been punched in the face. I was convinced I had a um, concussion too, but I also didn't want to tell anyone because I was in the middle of my field hockey season. And if I went to the hospital in that ambulance, I probably wouldn't have been able to play. I just had like a lot on my plate. So I was like, I am not telling a soul that this happened. Did, so I'm like terrified of men on the street. Like we just said, like any man, I don't care what you look like, what you're wearing. Like I assume you're going to kill me if you are of the male species. And I'm at this light. And there's a guy with, like, with a sign asking for money. He starts walking up to my car. So obviously I panic because, I'm sorry, a man is approaching me. Like immediately I'm like, how do I survive? And then I feel like an asshole because all he did was look at me and then point to the si- sign behind him that said, had a ble- have a blessed day and then made a heart with his hands and kept walking. And I was like, I literally just assume every man is going to kill me. Yeah, you gotta All he was doing was telling me to have a blessed day. But look, if like if you approach me and you're a man, like – I'm on alert. Mm -hmm. And again, it could be anyone. Like, it doesn't matter, like, what you're wearing, who you are. Like, I think you're going to kill me. Yep. At all times. But not going to lie, I low-key think that I could hold my own in a fight with men. I know it's, like, I know I would not be able to, but, like, in my mind, I just think I could. Depends what they had. I'd be like, I beat your ass. See, it depends what they have, because, like, I don't assume they're just going to beat me up. I assume they have a weapon or they're going to, like, kidnap me. Yeah, but if it was bare hands, like, I would be like, I'm going to, I'm going to beat your ass. Like, (laughs) <laughs> okay, someone just posted in old, from Ultra that there's this girl missing. That, like, in she, Ultra? Like, she was in Miami for Ultra. She's 27. She never went to her, to her Airbnb before checkout to get her stuff, and she missed her flight. And, like, she never got on the plane, and she's missing, and no one's heard from her. It's so fucking scary. It's, it's, it is. it is. It's scary. I feel like I, I don't really want to talk about all this stuff, though. Okay. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, yeah, let's, let's change directions. Um. <laughs> Fuck! I can't even change directions. <laughs> third one. Wait. Whoops. The third the, one. Yeah, quite on set. Wait, let me see. Quite on set. Oh, sorry. I was reading the third one down here. Oh, this is just like all. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Quite, quite on, on set. set. Um. Do we want to talk about this right now? Because we've been so dark. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch it. Um. But Maybe I let's said- wait till next week then. Maybe, well, I read, I read Jeanette McCurdy's book, which, like, talks about so much of this, but, I mean, it's just fucked up. I don't know what else to say other than, like, these people are fucking disgusting. Didn't we talk about it last week? I don't know. I can't remember. I think we did. I didn't watch the whole thing all by last week. Mm-hmm. I just finished it. Yeah, it well. Like a few episodes. If you liked it, not liked it, obviously, it's, like, a dark thing. It's not like, oh, I enjoyed the the topic but if you found it interesting and want to learn more just like read Jeanette McCurdy's book I'm telling y'all that was one of my favorite books of last year it was really sad though but you should read her book 
Yeah. It was really good. All right. Let's get into The Bachelor. Let's talk love. The final rose. The longest dragged out episode in all of history. No, seriously. I'm sick of it being... Well, not sick of it because this is the first season I've watched in years. But why does it need to be three hours? Like, there the whole so beginning much can cu- be cut out. Yeah. Or at least turn it into two. Like, I don't care if I have to wait another week. I just mm. didn't like having to sit there for that long. Because especially, th- I felt like there were quite a few things that they missed. And I'm like, I wanted to talk about that. Like, I wanted to talk about the fantasy suites. Why, why was that never brought up? They never really bring it up. But, like, why? I feel like the girls... Cause it, so, like, they never say who hooked up or not. It's only if it happens to come out, like, organically when they're talking in the season. Like, they never ask that. Well, I feel like organically it should have been brought up between, like, like on the dates, I feel like. No, they don't ask that. Like, I would. Oh, well, they normally don't. <sighs> I wanted to know the T so bad. Because then it's like he's not going to air out another girl's sexual behavior to someone else. Mm-hmm. You know? I guess. Like, if Daisy was like, did you fuck Kelsey? Like, okay, now you're telling the whole world that Kelsey fucked you. Like, that's her business. Why are you putting her on blast on TV? Yeah. I just feel like I've seen it come out quite a bit. So it's only when like- it naturally comes out. Like, Clayton, like, said I was intimate with all that. Like, he just said that. Yeah. Like, Okay, and then like Hannah Brown, flex, bro. Hannah Brown, that came up because that one guy. Sometimes there's that person that's like, if you've been with anyone else, like I'm leaving, mm-hmm. and like, then she had to be like, yeah, I did, I fucked him four times. Yeah. Like, it's only if someone really says something. But like, it'd be weird for Jesse Palmer to be like, Kelsey, did you have sex with him? <laughs> I mean, I would like the drama, but it'd be weird. Yeah, stir the pot a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah like. Um, like first base second base how big is his dick yeah (laughs) so let's kind of start from the very beginning though because i just felt like those one-on-one dates were crazy it was heart-wrenching yeah like just start starting there daisy's date the fucking weird cave with the man that they clearly had no idea what he was saying unless there was like a translator there that would then repeat it after but i'm like and then making wishes, saying them out loud. I was like, bro, you're literally like asking for these wishes not to come true. I've never in my life said a wish out loud. I, I, I like honestly have no words. It was so heartbreaking. It was so awkward. I was sitting well, what on did the couch. He, say? he was like, I wish us happiness, whether like, like whether we're together or not. Like I wish yeah. the best for both of us, whether we're together or not. And she was like, so it's not. He just kept saying things that were like, it's going to be okay. If it's not us. Yeah. Which in the moment was heartbreaking for her to hear. But I do think that was the right thing for him to say because. Oh, 100%. Because it let her go the right way. Like he, it would, I would rather him say that. You than don't be like, I love you so much. Like he was hinting because obviously the producers wouldn't let him be like, Daisy, it's not you go home. Yeah. But I think he planted the right seed. So that way she was mentally prepared. I mean, yeah, he looks like a douchebag in those moments. It's like, what the fuck? Why are you saying that to her? Like, that's rude. That's fucked up. But at the end, when, like, she ended up just dumping him, it's like, okay, it made sense that he did that. I respect that he did that, even though he looks like a fucking douchebag. Yeah, but, like, she knew. She knew it was coming. It, it would, I would much rather leave the way she left, knowing that it's not you, mm-hmm. than getting ready, thinking that you're going to be proposed to, and finding out right then and there that it's not you. Yeah. Like, I would much rather go the way that she left. But her date was so un-, un Like, it was so uncomfortable. I Dude, when she was, like, hunched over, like, upset after he said that. And he was like, give me a sweaty hug. And no. they hugged. I was like, oh, I'm so uncomfortable right and now. And also, like, it's so unfair. The same thing happened with Fantasy su- Suites, where they had romantic dates. And Rachel had to jump in a nasty pond. Same shit happened where Daisy had to sit in a cave. And Kelsey got naked couples massage yeah (laughs) like come on bro like that is so unfair they need to level out the the playing field because the scene of daisy sitting in the pool being like i'm you know so upset like it's not me i don't know what to think and then it cut to kelsey oiling up joey i was like oh god poor fucking girl like that's what can you like um, like actually imagine you're seeing him at like you think you're gonna get engaged and he's getting like oiled up by some other chick? Yeah, it kind of got neutraled out though after seeing then the next clips of them going one on one to the family. Daisy had an amazing interaction with the family, but then when Kelsey was with the family, I felt so uncomfortable the entire time. 
I think that was on his. Fa- also, weren't the dates after the family? The family was first. Oh, was it? I thought yeah, it, okay. the family was first. Okay, whatever it was. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But it got like equaled out because I, I was like, I was uncomfortable for, for both of them, like in different s- situations. I think it was uncomfortable all on the family's part. Dude, 100%. Like, why was Kelsey's or Joey's mom asking Kelsey, are you prepared to get heartbroken? Are you prepared to know that it may not be you? Like, bitch, why is that any of your business? And he, she was talking about charity. Yeah, like, what? Like, why aren't you asking her questions of like, What's your timeline with marriage? How many kids do you want to have? Like, where do you see yourself? Like, where do you guys want to live after this? Like, yeah. ask future realistic questions that, as if she's the one. Also, I know the producers tell them what questions to ask. You know, I, I know that. But it bothers me that they can't just, like, get to know them. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Where'd she grow up? What's her favorite color? Does she play sports? Like, yeah. what's her hobbies? Like, you don't... I just you don't... Know, you can't just get to know her. Like, does she have any siblings? It's just, like... Are you ready for marriage? I've never brought someone to meet my family. And my parents just say, like, what are your intentions? Are you prepared? Yeah. If this doesn't work out? No, it's like, nice to meet you. I know. Like, where are you from? What or do you even do? with the siblings What do you do for work? Down? They don't even ask, like, what do you do for work? Yeah. Like, my siblings sitting with my boyfriend, my brothers would never be like, so do you love Sam? Do you see your future with Sam? Like, Okay, if my brother Weird. sat down one on one with a guy I'm dating, which has like never happened, they would sit down. He'd say, "What's up, bro? Do you like hockey?" Yeah, that, <laughs> that's what my brother would say. He would say, "Do you like hockey? What kind of music are you?" Doing? My dad <laughs> do you want would a be beer? like, "That's what my brother would say." Yeah, my dad would be like, "So when are you giving me grandkids?" <laughs> that's true. Man, my mom would probably just be like, "Oh my god, you're so handsome!" Like just like hyping him up. I'd be like, "Mom, chill." <laughs> I don't know what my sisters would say. And I don't know what my parents would say. My, I don't know. Yeah, it's not a situation but that I ever find myself having to be in. No. His parents, it was really awkward, but, like, um, I got to just, you know, benefit of the doubt. Like, I know the producers tell them what to say. But for Which, the love of God. You got to fucking chill with that, though. It's it's bad. And And I'm sorry, Bachelor and Bachelorette 101, when the parent asks you, are you... You know, when if he asks you to marry him tomorrow, would you be ready? You can't say I think. I know what she definitely. That's what I said in that very moment. I was like, the the producers definitely told her to say that because are you fucking dumb or for she even was saying just that? Nervous and like that's just what came out. I think, I think I'm ready. You can't say I you think are so. On the Bachelor, you have to be ready. Yeah, like you can't say I think so. Like you can't say that because I can see like she just wasn't thinking of her words and it just like. Yeah, came out, but you can't say that. Like, I don't care. That is literally in the rule book. You can't say I think so. I know. Like, you're playing to win. Sorry, that was an audition. Now, I was telling our friend, I'm like, it's a, it's a job interview. Yeah. And you better do good. You yeah. Can't say I think. You gotta, you gotta act like you love the job. It's your dream no, job. It's literally a job interview. If they were like, if we offered you the job tomorrow, like, are you ready to be here? If you were like, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. But overall, what what? Are, okay, so I didn't really like the way that obviously they promoted the ending with him walking off. I think it was so dramatic. Yeah, like, yeah. There was but nothing that where I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that happens. Like this is Bachelor Nation I, history. I them in the car was I can't believe that happened. Not really though. I think it was like I I was like no fucking way like that. That's but it crazy. didn't do any, like, it didn't affect anyone. No, no, but I just thought it was, like... Like, Joey never found out. I thought out. it was just, like, a good, like... It would have been iconic if they walked out together. No, but then she would have ruined her engagement. She, Kelsey was getting engaged. Yeah, I guess. But either way, I just, like, I feel like it didn't really affect anyone. Yeah, I liked it, though. I liked the ending. I mean, the thing is, I knew that the walking off was going to be exaggerated. Like, they do that every fucking season. Yeah. I was, like... Every season, it's, like so hyped up so you like watch it i know but i was i really liked how it ended honestly like i i've liked i've liked him and kelsey since the vespa ride i thought that that was a i thought that was like the best one-on-one date and then after it like went downhill on like their other dates but i really thought they had a good date on the scooters um i just feel like her them riding in the car together ruined the proposal i don't think so but like now she knows it's her like she yeah they already knew that though 
Not really, though. If Daisy never went to her, she probably still would have been like 50 50 on it. Like, I don't know. But, but I Daisy think that's why Daisy just wanted, like, almost to make it, like, take away the anxiety. Like, you know, it's you. Like, go get engaged. Like, she doesn't have to eh. sit there wondering. Like, I feel like that's a part of you. the experience, though. Yeah, but I think at that point, like, the experience is over. And, like, you don't need anxiety. Like, this is your man, and you're going to get engaged and get married. Like, enjoy your moment. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I would have rather not known. Not know. Yeah. Because, like, think know. about it. When you're getting engaged to, like, in general, in real life, for the most part, I mean, I feel know. like I'm going to know because I'm so, like, I yeah, know my boyfriend's every waking move. But, like, it's a surprise on, like, where it's But it's, it's not happening. a surprise if it's going to be someone else. No, I know. <laughs> but still, like, there's at least a little bit yeah. of a surprise to it. And she had no surprise. Like, she knew what she was walking down the aisle to. Yeah, but... I don't know. I feel like if they both kind of knew, like, I think they went out, like, strong with dignity. I was a fan of the ending. Would you, if you got proposed to on The Bachelor, would you redo it somewhere just solely for, like, the photos and, like, the memory? I feel like I would. I mean, I'd get do engagement photos. Yeah, I guess that, too. See, I don't fucking know how this shit works. So, like, you get proposed and, like, you have a photographer there, but then you do engagement photos. Yeah. Where you do a whole photo shoot. Okay, yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I'll plan your your wedding stuff Dude. for you yeah I'll, I'll text your boyfriend today and set it up 100 percent. no 100 percent. i was literally talking to him, <laughs> him about this the other day and i convinced him to do it sooner <laughs> don't worry i'll text him after this and i'll send him some li- i'll just <laughs> i'm just gonna text him like a link to a pinterest board and he's gonna be like what the fuck i'm like, <laughs> just i'm just i'm just putting it out there just you know just in case you needed just in case you need any help i'm yeah. always here i made a mood board let me know let me know if there's a day i should ask her to get her nails done with me like let you know yeah just keep me in the loop buddy. let me know <laughs> let me know <laughs> let me know what to do That'd let me know so when funny. i should tell her family to fly down yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like do you need her dad's number do you have it <laughs> I can- <laughs> Oh, that would be great. <laughs> no, I'm literally just going to send him a Pinterest board. He's going to be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and be like, what? You, I feel like this is important. <laughs> I'm going to be like, so I was taking a look at her like hand shape. I think like an emerald. <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I've actually been like thinking about rings now. Oh. <laughs> I want a two-tone ring. Do you? Yeah. Can I don't you? want it to be just gold or just silver because I was thinking about Because right now it's trending on TikTok of like, um, I don't know what the audio is. It's like when he gets me a silver ring when I, and then the girls are showing all the gold that they're wearing. It's well, like, yeah, I'm, then like your boyfriend hates you. And it's like, I'm not that girl. Like I'm not that girl's the audio or something. But anyway, I was thinking about, it, I'm like in the winter, I like to wear silver. Like I don't wear gold really in the winter. So I'm like two tone, two tone ring. I'll never take it off. Yeah. I want a gold ring. Yeah. And so. then if I get a, and then my wedding band, I don't know, but I want a gold ring. Hey. Have you heard all the talk that's like, why does a girl walk around like she's claimed when you're engaged, but a man wears nothing? I saw that, yeah. Are you going to get him a ring? Yeah, my dad has a ring. A wedding band, but not an engagement ring. Oh, with a diamond on it? No, 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 no. <laughs> it would look like a wedding. But basically the premise is like, a girl walks around claimed, and a man doesn't. Well, what's the difference between a wedding band and an engagement ring? So like when you get married, you have an engagement ring. Like you'll have an engagement ring and then a wedding band. You have two uh-huh. rings. Yeah. You wear two rings. A man never gets an engagement ring. They just get a wedding band. So it's like, do you get them like a like a different ring to wear until you get married? Like it's basically the premise of like they get to walk around looking single and you look cuffed. Until you're married? Mm-hmm. I like guess. where your man should look like he's on lock too. I'm not too worried. <laughs> Yeah, like, no one's coming after that's him. That's like some type of insecurity type shit if you're fucking worried about that. Brandon Chicken Fry posted a video about that. I guess. This guy said it's because girls are cheap and they don't want to buy their boyfriend something. I said, I think it's more so because they don't want, your man doesn't want jewelry. That and also I just feel like if he's putting a ring on your finger, like for the most part, I'm like, I think he wants you. Yeah, like he like, paid for that. Like he paid for that. And I know there are shitty men out there, so I can't speak on every fucking man out there, but. No, yeah, a man will buy you a ring, have a kid with you and cheat on you. Yeah, but. From what I see with my boyfriend, I don't think I need to fucking lock it down with a ring. If your boyfriend ever cheated on you, I'd push him off my balcony. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I don't know, like, what I would do to him. It's one of those my things. Da- oh, I, I don't s- even know what we do if we could talk about this. I but. saw a TikTok about this. I think I saw a TikTok about this. If not, I just made it up in my head. No, I don't know. Like, how with your best friends, like, boyfriend, you kind of always... 
like you can't like them too much like i feel like there's always this guard up of like i kind of hate you a little bit because i'm just like prepared that one day i might have to hate your guts yeah and like there's just always gonna be like i'm never gonna like like you so much where like you're my good friend because i just need to like i'm on edge like I, yeah. I need to be prepared that one day you're gonna be like a piece of shit or something and like i need to keep my guard up yeah no i i agree with that <laughs> like i need to keep my guard up the, um, just in case I have to kill you. I can't, like, have emotions involved. <laughs> yeah. One one thing that my dad would always say with any of my boyfriends, like, when I would first kind of bring them home or, like, get them to know my, my dad, he'd be like, I got a boat. You want to go fishing one day? <laughs> the faces on every single one of my boyfriends, every time that they would say that, would just sink. Like, dead. They're like, uh. Because, like, obviously, you know, like, my dad's kind of threatening you with that. <laughs> My dad would just tell me how, like, if anything ever happened, like, we have a lot of cop friends and he could probably disappear and no one would. Yeah. Yep. My dad would do that too. <laughs> and we could just, you know, have it go under the table. Yeah. Because so our neighbors are cops and stuff. So we could I wish my brothers would be a little bit more protective, though. My brothers are just like, oh, yo, you want to go play a round of golf? Oh, uh, I can't wait. Yeah. Oh, like, he plays golf? He's sick. Yeah. Didn't like, I show like that? Why, why can't my brothers be like, fucking touch my sister or disrespect her i'm gonna fucking yeah hurt you. my brother doesn't think that either maybe he does i don't know he's gotten softer since he has a girlfriend like with my two exes my brothers instantly became best friends with them and then we broke up and they were still hanging out i'm like that's my ex you can't hang out with him like, well he's my friend i'm like no no no. that's not how it works like yeah and you're your my brother so shitty i know <laughs> Anyways, uh, um i don't think i have anything else we don't really have any other i was just oh. really ready to talk about the bachelor and kate middleton Oh, okay. Actually, this is such a lie. We got to keep talking about The Bachelor. We didn't even finish Oh, that. The Bachelorette. Yeah. So, The Bachelorette. I will, like... Did you see the, the guys that they picked? Oh, they're brutal. So bad. I was like... They're brutal. There's, like, a few select few on there that I'm like, okay, potential, potential. But... I'm sorry. Stop trying to normalize. This is with every TV show. With Love Islands and whatever. Stop trying to normalize just, like people on there i need it to be the sexiest fucking I people you've ever seen in your life on the tv i watch these shows because i like watching hot people i want it to be so unrealistic and i want to dream of being on that show and like fantasize it i don't want to be relatable to it yeah like i'm trying to watch hot people and let me tell you joey season hot people uh-huh like that was a cast but that he joey was like i'm sorry like i think he, he's hot he is attractive but i'm just like there i i don't know I think he's hot, but normal hot. Not like Brad Pitt hot. He's like, kind of quirky. Oh, yeah. He's definitely a cringe ball. But to be fair, like the things they make you film and say, like it sets you up to be so cringe. Yeah. Um, But he had a studded like hot season. Bring out the hot people. Yeah. I want like sexy ass people. Yeah. Like I want to watch The Bachelorette to watch hot men. I know. I don't want to be like, oh, it's kind of ugly. Yeah, me too. And she's hot. Like, why are we yeah. doing her like this? I didn't realize how short she was. Yeah, she is tiny. So short. But yeah, she's really hot and like out of these guys' leagues. Agreed. Which is It's going to be very easy for her to figure it out on like who she wants. I always say that if I was on The Bachelor, I would know my top two the first day. 100%. Like, put 30 men in a room, I could pick one. Because you go on one date with a guy, you either want to continue on with them or not. Like, yeah, as no. a girl. Like, like, the amount of first dates I've gone on and they did not conclude to a second date like i don't know yeah i'm i think it with 30 people i could pick a guy instantly me too the um yeah but the guy so the guys how many guys do they do like 30 30 30 of them damn that's crazy and i feel like how old is she that's such a good question i have no idea but i feel like the guys that they were choosing were quite old let me see. I don't know how old, she, how old she is, but. Let me do a Google search. Jen Bachelorette. Jen Bachelor Age. Uh, she's 25. Oh, my God. And she's okay, from Miami. Yeah. Dude, queen. some of the guys were in, like, their mid-30s. I was like, whoa. Why okay, are these guys like, so old? But, like, they physically looked old. Because oh. I was going to say, like, if I'm 25, I'd go for a guy in my mid-30s. In their mid-30s. They're just physically old looking. Yeah. But um hot take right now. The Golden Bachelor women are so cringe. 
they've so fucking cringe. It. They've overplayed it. I don't know how. Listen, they signed their life away to ABC. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I am sorry, but I'm sick of seeing them plastered all over the regular show. All over, like giving advice. Like, sorry, hate to say it, but you're in your sixties and you're still single. Why are I'm? I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but like a lot of their husbands died. All of them. A lot of them. Okay, well then. In, in that case scenario, then I understand that they can give advice. But, like, if you got, like, a divorce and, like, you're struggling to find... Like, I don't know. Either no, or, but I'm, either just, way, I'm probably being a fucking bitch right no, now. No, but either know. way, a 65-year-old woman's advice on dating and a 25-year-old yeah. woman's advice on dating... What if it was, like, go talk different. to him about having babies one day? Like, what? <laughs> How to lose a guy immediately. <laughs> like, don't listen to these... Like, if anything, I'm gonna... Li- like, the only person that's way older than me that i'm gonna listen to for advice is my My mom mom. my mom knows me and i'm sorry even then i don't go to my mom for boy advice i don't i don't like (laughs) if i were to go to my mom and i'm like struggling in my like i'm some people are very close with their their parents but me personally if i'm in a fight with my boyfriend or i'm struggling with my relationship with my boyfriend i'm not gonna go to my mom (laughs) like mom (laughs) mom i'm i just got to fight with my boyfriend about like fucking I don't even know, but like, I'll go to my mom about stupid, stupid fights with a boyfriend. If that makes sense. Like when you're bickering over something small, if I was like in, in my house with my family, I'd be like, mom, like, aren't I right? Like if it's something stupid. Oh yeah. hundred percent. that. Yeah. Like, but I would never be like, he went out last night and like, didn't call me. Yeah. He was out until three in the morning, mom. Like, well then you're setting it up. Like now your parents might hate him. Yeah. And screwed. Can't be doing that. I know exactly so yeah. i don't know the golden bachelor i just think it's fucking cringe and i hope they don't do another season of it See, honestly i really liked the golden bachelor but i don't i, I keep it fully separated that's then. what i'm saying i i don't i didn't know that we were gonna have them back every fucking episode yeah and like the they're, way they are on, the on camera dates. they're like <laughs> like smile like it's just I listen can't. i liked the golden bachelor because i was like wait i like this because it doesn't feel like people like wanting social media clout like i was like, a lot of them like husbands died like it was really really wholesome dude now they're two of them are starting a podcast oh my together. god yeah like, like they're, i'm like wait 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 i thought we were doing something wholesome now you all want to be influencers i know no they need to like move on and um i d- like lastly i just don't like also toward the end when um jen was announced as the bachelorette Everyone goes on stage, but also the Golden Bachelor women are on stage, like, hugging her. Like, a, I'm just like, I'm sorry, but, like, this is the moment for, like, her and her friends. Like, you're a 65-year-old woman. Her own fucking parents didn't run up on stage. Like, back off. <laughs> no, they're, it's, I think they signed their life away. Yeah. They wow. signed a contract that said every single episode of The Bachelor and Bachelorette from here on out. Dude, they're going to start. On. They're going to show up on um, Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> Like, I'm not even kidding. They're going to be all the young ones are going to be on Bachelor in Paradise. And all of a sudden, the Golden Bachelor attendees are going to show up too, be mingling. <laughs> They're going to be like the bartenders. You know, there's bartenders. Oh, no. That would be a jump scare. You know, like the bartender, like um, he was actually making the drinks. Yeah. Well, like, because it's kind of just like a bit, but like he is actually making the drinks. That was more just like, oh, no, I, he was there as like a character. I kind of like, actually make, making he was the making the drinks. drinks. Uh, anyways, yeah, I like the finale. Also, people thought Rachel was talking shit because they were like... I saw that. But all she said was, it's not Daisy. She was confused. Yeah. Because she knew it was Jen. So when Daisy came out, she was like, it's not Daisy. Yeah, it was she just was, bad timing. Like, the camera panned to her as she was doing that. But like, she wasn't talking shit. She was confused. Yeah. Yeah, people were like, she was talking shit. No, she wasn't. But she does have RBF, though. Every time they panned to her... I know. She looked angry. She did. I was like, I feel you, queen, but cheer up buttercup really because <laughs> you're gonna get toasted on social media um but that's all i really have from the bachelor same we've been talking for so long i know we have let's get into our weekend recap um let me go over to my photos that's what i do for my bachelor, or my bachelor recap my weekend recap is i go over to my photos because i don't take notes anymore but um my weekend was so eventful i actually like had a great weekend, but I didn't want to take a lot of photos now that I'm looking. Um, Friday, I just went to see Dune and went to Cheesecake. Bro, I'm about to get my period, and I'm not even kidding. My body is so sensitive to everything that I'm eating. Me too. Eating, drinking, like everything. My body just fucking... My <laughs> digestion on my period is... So bad. I don't have my period yet, and I'm hoping I do get it soon. Me neither. Because um, I can like feel it. You know when you feel like the... 
like it's just a massive like blood clot t- forming in your stomach my uterus is five times its size yeah we're in our same era right now yeah dude. my digestion sucks i'm puffy my uterus is huge yeah and i even was saying this to you like a few like what was it last week or whatever but like sex hurts yeah and i don't feel like i usually ever feel like that like having sex before my period or even on my period sex never hurts hurts but like this time around i'm like i can just feel my fucking oh it hurts so bad no my uterus is five times the size it needs to bleed immediately to lose it Mm -hmm. my friday was so wild (laughs) yeah it was i got me and my friends went to get cocktails we're like we're gonna keep it chill uh we didn't at all obviously duh um it was so fun like the vibes were just the vibes were just going the vibes were flowing and to be fair we're at one of these bars and then two of my friends are like leaving i thought they were going home so i'm like i'm gonna go with them Mm -hmm. i was like making a good decision i'm like i'm gonna go with them we get outside the bar they're like so we're gonna go to cats and then probably key bar and i go wait 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 i thought you were going home and they were like no i was like Oh, god damn it and then i went with them and it's like bitch you could have gone home but i i thought they were going home and i was ready to go with them but they were just switching bars and i was like oh okay that's what we're doing we go to this one bar remember the guy that was a tiktoker that i matched with on hinge that literally like catfished me yeah he didn't actually catfish me it was him he was just ugly he was there oh boy jump scare i want to say every single girl that i was with had matched with him on hinge it's like we literally all said hi to him like literally was like hi and then i was like wait uh. matched with him on hinge. it was Ugh. Like all of us were like, yeah, I matched with that guy. <laughs> I was like, damn, you for the whole squad. <laughs> damn. For the it's whole crazy squad. crazy how small fucking Austin is. Yeah. But we got so much free alcohol because I don't fucking know. Like this guy at Key Bar like brought sh- champagne, like was bringing shots every five seconds, like free alcohol, free alcohol, free alcohol. I see this guy in a cowboy hat. I obviously can't be stopped. And I have so much balls after like one sip of alcohol. I was like, huh, that guy's wearing a cowboy hat. Like cute cowboy i'm gonna go talk to him obviously so i literally just go talk to him i he was like 30 and he was like what the fuck you're 23 year baby i'm like i'm literally not i'm so cool like what do you mean um and i just like literally hung out with this random fucking man and i'll never see him again but he was really cool um rest in peace to that he was visiting with a bachelor party but yeah i saw a guy in a cowboy hat and literally had to speak to him and then i drunk called well, first of all, I texted every single man in my phone. Like, I texted three people. Like, like, what are you doing tonight? Like, a fucking idiot. Um, and then I drunk called this guy at two in the morning. So I woke up with the worst anxiety because I was like, fuck. I was like, what the fuck? Did, like, god damn it. So, like, I text him and I'm like, can you just, like, summarize what I said last night in the least embarrassing way possible? I was like, my anxiety is so bad. Then he's feeding into my anxiety. He's like, I can't. It's too much to text. Like, feeding into it. And I was like so i like called my friends like it was one of those w- mo- mornings where you wake up and you're like does everyone hate me you know and you're like oh like yeah Every- they were like no like you're fine like you didn't even do anything and he's like feeding into it feeding into it feeding into it and finally he was like no you literally didn't say anything he was like you were drunk but it was fine and i was like oh okay like you were freaking me out i wonder like, if you were like slurring your words like eh, you i need- definitely listen i don't know all i know is i don't know how the fuck i got home but i did and Listen, it was fun. Vibes were high. But you gotta keep, like, fucking pepper spray with you or some shit. No, I know. I need to order some. But vibes were really high. Um, That's all I gotta say. It was fun. Yeah. I went to bed so fucking early Go when away. I got home. It was nice. Honestly, the whole weekend was like that. And then Saturday, it just hasn't been, like, the nicest weather here in Austin. It's, it's like, 70s. But all of last week, it was either raining or very cloudy. Mm-hmm. So I knew I was like, I want to sit outside because it's nice, but it's not sunny, but I don't want to go next to a pool. So I invited two of my girlfriends over just kind of chill at my house because I haven't utilized just sitting in my back patio thing. And then we ended up went, going to get lunch and came back. I have like this massive fucking bag of PR that I have gotten over the last few weeks. And I let them go through all of it. I was like, take Period. this shit from my house. Thank you. It's makeup shampoo conditioner like literally anything you can possibly think of and they walked out with literally grocery bags i was like perfect bet um and then from there we just went to dinner and there was like it was funny how it worked out so one of our friends boyfriend we knew we were all gonna get drinks together but one of our friends boyfriend wanted to take his girlfriend and two of the friends to get dinner 
before drinks and then they were going to meet up with us after. And so I just made like a reservation for drinks because here in Austin, you can't just like show up somewhere. Even if you're just getting drinks and it's a big group of you, you have to make a reservation. So I made a reservation at like one of the, like one of the three places that you could possibly make a reservation at. And it was ironically the same Same place. Oh, that was like an accident. Yeah. yeah. So, well, technically not because they were going to come like, but come after the same anyway place was an accident yes that's funny but they were gonna come after anyway so it just like worked out that they were two tables down from us that's and then so just like funny. moves their way over to us but yeah we were there for a while we were there for like three hours and at that point i was kind of getting like itchy to like leave i was like we've been here for way too long like and i was just like i i, I need to fucking go i need to roam the streets but the time we <laughs> actually roam the streets. no but by the time we actually left because i had only two drinks some of the other people had like four three four drinks so like they were drunk but I just I wasn't I didn't like I like getting drinks at expensive places but at that point I'm like okay I just spent fucking like like set yeah like I they were expensive I was like I spent almost like 70 dollars like I don't need to be here any longer like I'd rather girl math spread out (laughs) where I'm getting the drinks because in my brain it's cheaper that way rather than sitting at one specific spot and getting a bunch of drinks so I was like I need to go And then at that point, an hour had gone by of getting the check. So I was like, I just, I know I'm not going to stay long tonight. Like, I just know that's not going to happen. And then we ended up maneuvering our way over to um, East. Yeah, East. Went to Lucky Duck. Had a great time there. A guy bought all of us girls shots because the boys weren't there yet. Mm. So I was like, bet I'm taking up this opportunity free shot. But then I took that shot and then I got an espresso martini. And I just realized in that moment, I was like, I'm going to go home after this drink. Like, I'm not going to tell anyone, but I'm going home. <laughs> Classic. Classic. Yeah. But it was so, like, it was so fun, but I was just happy that I got home by, like, 1130. Yeah, that's going to be my vibe this weekend. On Saturday, I had plans with my friends from dance um, to do a PowerPoint night, which we had, like, planned for so long. Like, we'll literally text, and it's like, what weekend are we all free? And then it takes, like, a few weeks. So, like, that day on our calendar has been marked to hang out, like, so far in advance because it's so hard to, like, get people it's like when you're all adults, it's so hard to pick a day. I know. So it's like, we should do this. And then we're like week by week and it's like a month later. Okay, next month on this fucking day, we're going to do it. So we did a PowerPoint night. And that day when I woke up, I like called one of my friends. I'm like, fuck, I have to make a PowerPoint. Like, what do I do? And she was like, just do it on like all the stupid things you did yesterday. Mm-hmm. I was like, wait, that's genius. Um, It was actually so funny. And a PowerPoint night, like these trended so long ago. Um, They're so funny. We were... I was in tears like they were so funny we all did the most random shit it was it took forever too it took like three hours to do five of them took forever and then one of our friends knew because like they're my dance friends so they know like other dancers she knew this girl that was performing in a burlesque show so she was like wait we should go to this and it started at 11 so late but so we go to this bar to watch this burlesque show and I had never been to a burlesque show um that shit was crazy um i've also never been to a strip club uh it wasn't a strip club it was just a bar but those girls were getting naked and it was fun like it was fun it was fun to watch they were like really good dancers but i was like i i just had never been to one and i was i didn't know the level like i know burlesque is like sexy but i didn't know the level of uh clothes off that you get when you do burlesque um but it was fun to watch like it was funny it was a it was a good little time but then I got home so late because it didn't start till 11 but I didn't drink at all on Saturday I was sober Sally but I cannot recommend like a PowerPoint night enough it was so fucking funny it was hilarious you love a good theme tonight no it was so funny and also the burlesque show like I we were all like wait like I want to do this so bad like I'd have to be so drunk and no one it'd have to be like somehow anonymous but it looked so fun I was like I want to dance around in lingerie this looks like the funnest thing fucking ever mm-hmm. they were literally down like toward the end like they because they would like kind of like slowly like they would start like with more clothes on and then just kind of like dance and like be stupid it was fun they were funny too but like they would literally get down to like pasties and like along damn yeah i was like <laughs> i was like what the Which, fuck? oh my god speaking of like pasties and a thong i did not realize how amazing strapless sticky bar- bras are they make your boobs look so big. Like, I just thought, oh, I'm going to use sticky bras as, like, something to cover cover my nipples. But the ones that have, like, the little clip in the middle, 
that mm-hmm. like push your boobs together. I'm I need to buy more of them. I'm gonna. Wear I them. need one. I had one, but it didn't get tight enough. Oh, dude! Like you need to get one because they, in the most unexpected way, make your boobs look triple the size. It was. Great. I need to get one that like fit the one I had. Like didn't fit me good enough. Like it, it didn't get tighter. Yeah, I also need to get like one of those like skim nude things because I have quite a few dresses that I've realized that are see through, mm. and I need something to like cover my body up so I can wear the dress. Mm. But. How was your Sunday? What did you do? Sunday was just a productive Sunday. Sunday was like get shit together I'm Sunday. Use your bathroom and pee. Enjoy. <laughs> um, Sunday was like build a table. What else did I do? Oh, I went to Target and had like a big Target run that I had to do for random ass shit. Like a sponge holder, a utensil holder, command hooks. Like, I don't know. Like all this random crap I had to get at Target. But I was just trying to be really, really, like, productive on Sunday and get random stuff done in my apartment. And I did. I think I did. I think I did good. I think I got a lot of my shit together. I'm trying to think if I did anything else on Sunday. Let me check my phone. I don't think I did. No, I literally just, like, organized my whole. What was the point of even saying that? I thought it was going to block the door, but it didn't. Um, yeah, I literally was just trying to be like productive my whole Sunday. I was so tired because Friday I didn't go to bed till late. And then Saturday, even though I didn't drink because that show started so late, I didn't go to bed till late. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how I spent my Sunday was just errands and organizing. Yeah. Mine was actually pretty eventful. I've been trying to get mac and cheese to like be out. Oh, fucker. Um, just out of the house. So I new our new thing is every saturday we eat frozen food for dinner and the target saturday or sunday sunday sorry did i say saturday yeah so sunday frozen food like that's just what we've been doing the target frozen chicken strips so good that sounds fire best chicken strips i've ever had it's the good and good and gathered like target brand and we paired it with some sweet potato tater tots but we realized, we we're like, okay, well, if we're going to eat in, like, shit tonight, like, we got to eat healthy right now for lunch. <laughs> so we went to Sweet Greens in Mueller, and Mueller also has a farmer's market on Sundays. So went to Sweet Greens, got a salad, which that salad re- uh, order that I got, perfection. When, so, when you say we, you mean you and your boyfriend. Yeah, me and my boyfriend. I, sorry. And then... I got the salads, walked around the farmer's market, kind of upset because I really was going with the goal of getting like a sweet treat after going to the little pastry mm-hmm. section. Everything's not sold out, but kind of sold out. Like the good stuff sold out. All of the pastries were like smushed. Mm. Like you could tell it was like they package up like them maybe in like a basket or a bin. Mm-hmm. And then they were putting out the older ones or just the bottom of the barrel ones that were smushed. I'm like, who wants this flat croissant? That's sad. Yeah, I was like, I'm not getting that. So walked around a little bit, went home, and then we watched so much TV. <laughs> like an that. absurd amount of TV. But I'm obsessed with the, the chicken strips from Target. You, you guys need to get them. Uh, no, I want chicken nuggets or something. Yeah, like or even next time I'll probably make a sandwich with it. Ooh, a wrap. Yeah, a wrap of some sort, which... Yeah, oh my God, I'm hungry. Yeah, I know, me too. I honestly should do that next week because I'm going paddle boarding on Sunday instead. Oh, a nice little chicken. Yeah. I'm trying not to rot on Sundays. Like, I was I was wholesome for the most part, but we got home around 1 after Sweet Greens in the farmer's market. And then from 1 all the way until dinner, like, we were rotting on the couch all day. So I was like, I need to be more productive. Yeah, I felt like a good mix of, like, raw and productive. I felt really productive on Sunday, but, like, it kind of took me a little bit to get going. But yeah. I felt felt good on Sunday productive yeah i mean i wasn't hung over by any means but yeah i was I just tired i think i just needed to like move my body but yeah it definitely helps if it's fucking nice out it was like raining yeah so. if it's raining like you can't do much yeah just not the vibe. but all right so this week i don't even know if we told you guys what we're doing this we week didn't. but we're gonna be doing essentials yeah. for hot girl spring essentials for hot girl spring we do this for every season. Haven't, I feel like, done it in a while. Did we do a winter one? I don't know. Maybe. Can't, it, I can't if remember. we did, it might have been like a while ago. Yeah, a while. Like, freaking October, November, a while yeah. ago. Um, so, I feel like we kind of here in Texas skip from spring to summer within like a blink of an eye. But I know a lot of you guys probably, it's probably still pretty cold. Um, so, 
we have a list of 10 things that we think that are essential to just be a bad bitch for the, the months of spring. Just be a bad bitch. Um, so when Taylor sent me this and as an idea for the topic, I instantly knew right away what I wanted to say. <laughs> you were probably like, why the fuck is this number one? But for me, <laughs> number one was linen pants and shorts. Linen pants are so in right now. Linen pants are really cool. I just bought from Urban Outfitters. I went on a run and after my run, I was like, you know, what? I'm going to run through downtown and then stop at Urban Outfitters. And that's like a little reward for myself. I got the viral linen pants that are going on throughout like, I want to say more of like the Europe side of things. They're the striped blue and mm. white like linen boxers. pants. Yeah, but they're they're kind of like boxer pants, but they're, yeah, like, you know, same vibe. They're so cute. I cannot wait to style them, but I need like a wholesome like Saturday or Sunday lunch brunch type thing so that I can wear them. But they're so cute. I got two different colors. I was Amazon clothes shopping this morning. Yeah. While this guy was building my couch. <laughs> I got, um... Let's see if I can find blue. Like this, this is the vibe. Yeah, they look like boxers. Kinda. I know. They're like so long freaking boxers. cute. And like they're very lightweight. So here in Austin, it gets very, very hot very quickly. So I feel like those are pants that I can wear for a while and not feel like I'm dying inside. Of well, them. it's also closed in this weird transition where it's cold in the morning, cold at night, hot in the afternoon. Yep. And you need, like, something that's kind of going to work. Yeah. And I think they're also going to be great for beach cover-up, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I can style them however I want. Like, today's a perfect example where it's, like, or this week, where, like, the low is 50s, 60s, and the high is 80. Yeah. Like, hey, what do I wear? Mm -hmm. And, like, a lightweight pant is is good. Yeah, I agree. Um, we can just, like, switch off and keep going back. Yeah, on. just, like, random things. Like, um, I texted Sam. I said natural nails. You know, we all know my acrylic saga. It was a most mistake. Okay, I'll never do it again. But just like natural, cute, like neutral nails for yeah. spring. My nails look like fucking shit right now. I'm, but I'm. Once these are gone, I can't wait to go get my nails done. I went to um, my chiropractor, and he was, and he follows me on Instagram. So he was like, um, so we hate the nails. I'm like, don't talk about the nails. Mm -hmm. Like, don't bring it up. But like. Just natural nails, like spring is fresh and clean. You need yeah. a pastel, like natural nail. My goal is just for the whole year not to do acrylic. I'm going to stick to gel and just, I want them to be so strong. Like, that's really what I want. I don't even mm -hmm. care if they're long, but I just want them to be strong. I look back at my memories on my Snapchat. In high school, I had like long ass natural nails where people are like, are those acrylics? But they were just long. So that's how I was in high school. It was a fun life to live. Yeah. They were so fucking long. Yeah. Even looking back on like a year ago, two years ago, I'm like, fuck. Did some long ass acrylics. But yeah. Number three is planning a trip um, with your friends somewhere warm to get that base tan for summer. Like I feel like right around now is the perfect time to travel because we obviously used to for high school and college go on spring breaks with our mm -hmm. friends. But now if you're not in college anymore, like we're a little bit older, doesn't mean we can't Go on a spring break. I wouldn't say necessarily go during the weeks of actual spring break no. because you're going to be caught up with all the college kids, but plan a trip. And yeah, I think like spring we went break's like over. Spring yeah, break was March. So April, May, plan a trip with your girlfriends. Go somewhere warm. I, for one, am not going with my girlfriends. I'm going with my boyfriend and my family to Florida next month. But it's just going to be great getting that base tan. I'm going to be coming back. Summer's going to be approaching. I'm going to have a great tan. So, yeah, those are long. Mm -hmm. And... I just think everyone should go on a trip, utilize it, because for the most part, like, no one really wants to travel somewhere tropical in the middle of summer, you know? So this is the perfect time to do it. Yeah, we went to Cabo last year for March, and it really got us crisp and tan. Yep. Also, yeah, I just pulled up pictures of my natural nails in high school, and they were just, they were fucking next level. I don't know how I did it. We'll get back to it. Like, look at those. Yeah, that's crazy. They were, they were nuts. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, this next one, I said spring clean your life. Yeah. It's spring. Restart. We both moved. So that's like next level spring cleaning. I spring you, cleaned in my closet yesterday. I need to do that because I have no hangers. I just bought another thing of hangers at Target. I thought I only needed one pack. Wrong. Yeah. Wasn't enough. I needed two packs. I'm like, why do you have so much fucking clothes? Yeah. I did quite literally the opposite where now I have so many extra hangers because I took a massive bag, which I'm going to end up donating. I went next time I'm like over in that area massive trash bag of just clothes and i'm like i just don't picture myself wearing this ever again and just get rid of it because i have so many clothes and my thing is i take forever to pick an outfit and if i can 
minimize the things I try on, it will make my life a little bit easier. Yeah. Sam takes forever to get pick an outfit. Yeah. So do I. And then I end up wearing the same shit everywhere. Yeah. This last weekend, guess what? On Friday, I tried on only one outfit and like stuck with it and didn't change. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. I tried on a few. Just, my thing right now is my bottoms don't fit me. So I've been like slowly building up my bottom wardrobe because none of them fit. And I'm like, I want to feel comfortable in my clothing. I don't like, obviously I want them to look good, but I want to feel comfortable. You, know? you want to? Comfortable, good-fitting clothes, like yeah, it's really hit, and it makes your outfits look so much better. It does. Um, number what is that? Four, five. I don't fucking know. It was the flowers. Um, yeah, I just well, oh. I labeled it as three, so it's obviously not three. But um, buying yourself flowers. Spring's here. Flowers are out, blossoming, and don't wait around for a man to buy you flowers. Um, I love just keeping a fresh thing of flowers in my kitchen every single week. I don't get like actual flowers. I get the like. I don't know what they're called from churches, but they're like two fucking dollars. Yeah. Baby's breath. The little like, yeah, whatever they're called. But I just, I like it. I don't like obviously getting fake fucking plants all over throughout the house. Like are nice because flowers are expensive, but at least one little bouquet of flowers getting myself feels great to do. My roses from Trader Joe's have bloomed so gorgeously. They really bloomed so nicely. You got a real flower vase. I know. And then someone else got me flowers too. So I have two things of roses. Who got you flowers? Um, when I so I got rid of my treadmill because I had to get oh, rid of it. Oh yeah. I and you said that. I got rid of it for free because I got it for free and like I could have sold it, but like whatever. Like yeah. I got it for free. No no loss there. So she brought me a bottle of wine and flowers and a candle. I was mm-hmm. like a thank you, and I was like that was so sweet. Like. She didn't have to do that. So I have two bouquet- bouquets of roses in my home. And I always say this when we're talking about flowers. Flowers will literally kill your cat. Um, don't get flowers that are going to kill your cat. Yeah. Just putting it out there. My sister posted a picture of flowers and it was a lily and she literally has a cat. Her cat's named Lily. That's actually funny. But lilies will kill your cat. And she posted a picture of flowers. I was like, bitch, you're going to kill your cat. Is but it only if they eat it? I don't think it's just if they eat it. Like, I think like. Like, they're so toxic. Like, because there's a lot of things, like, that, like, are toxic to dogs if they eat. But it's, like, it's not going to kill them yeah, right away. Yeah, chocolate, avocado. But, like, it's not going to kill them right away. It's yeah, just going to, like, onion. make them a little sick. Like, flowers will kill your cat. Interesting. Like, yeah. Um, this next one, Sam wrote. She wrote, save money. Yeah. Summer's approaching. Would you rather spend all your money right now in spring or in the summer when it's boat season, day drinking season? Like, Summer is the time where you're going to probably spend the most money. So save it right now. A lot of this hot girl spring is prep for summer. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's summer prep because speaking of summer prep, add some cardio into that routine. Yeah. Add some cardio into the routine. Like you're saving money. You're getting hotter. Like you want to go into summer feeling your best with fat pockets of money. That's like how you're going to have the best summer. But yeah, starting cardio like now because you just want to feel your best. Yeah. And this is something that I was going to make a TikTok about. When we started our platforms, we were very like helping girls like take it easy on themselves. Like, I don't know. Like, okay, we've done that already. Now I'm kind of like stopping a little bitch, get on the treadmill. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I've I've done that already. Like, I've healed. I'm not like disordered with exercise anymore. Guess what? Sometimes I need a little bit of a push. And like, you've been lazy. Get on the treadmill. Like, you don't feel great how you look. So do something about it. Yeah. Like, there will be kind of sometimes I feel like trolls that will be like, like, you used to preach this. Like, bro, everything in life comes in waves. Like, just because I used to preach something last year or the year before doesn't mean I'm going to continue to preach it. Like, everything in your life has like a season to it. Like, there was a time where, yeah. I was anti-cardio. Like, I think you didn't need to do the cardio, if anything. Focus on gaining weight, gaining muscle. And obviously, cardio is not going to, like... needed to. Yeah. So, like, now we're in a different time in our life. And some of you are not going to agree with what we're going to have to say. But maybe you're in that stage of where we used to be where don't do the cardio. But for us, like, yeah, yeah, cardio is something that's now essential in our life. And we don't look at it in a disordered or punishment way. It's just going to help me feel my best because guess what? If I drink my life away on Friday, get on the treadmill, babe. Like, yeah. it'll make you feel better. Like, you'll feel good about it. It's just um, it's just needed. Like, there's no reason to not go into summer feeling your best. Mm-hmm. 
Um, Taylor's next one that she put <laughs> down was for all the single girls, build up that roster now that um, you're getting ready for summer. And I also want to add into this because last like spring, I was very single. You're going to save so much money if you have a big roster because there are going to be so many guys buying you drinks, taking you on dates, getting you food. Like you will save a lot of fucking money. I used to go out to the bars and not spend a dime because every like corner or every bar I would go to, like I was inviting a guy that was on my roster and like he was paying for my drinks all night. So if that's a way to save money. Yeah. Build out your roster now. Again, it's just that prep. What about those texts? Hey, do you want to come on this boat? You want to come to this party? Meet me at this bar. You need to already have those people in your phone because it's summer. They're going to be too busy. Like, it's going to be hard to like get people. Already have them in your phone ready to go. So that way when summer's here, you get those invites for those boats, for mm-hmm. those pregames. Like, you already have it on lock. Yeah. You got to have it done. And then summer, delete hinge. Enjoy your roster. <laughs> yeah. Um, do we want to talk? I mean, I guess prioritizing eating healthy and meal prepping. Goes with cardio. Yeah. I just feel like also foods have its season in the summer i'm craving more like lightish things salads like light sandwiches wraps like those types of things i'm not really craving like the heavier things you know so yeah for me like i yeah fruit like yogurt bowls smoothies like you wouldn't catch me in the middle of the winter drinking a smoothie after the my workout like yeah you know so I just think, yeah, eating healthy, prioritizing veggies, getting your protein in, all super important. It's also, like, summer, like, is going to be crazy hot girl summer. Like, we have, like, you're going to be out in these streets. Like, you're going to be busy all the time, having fun, doing this, that, and the other. So you might as well get as many weeks in of eating good as you can. Yeah. Before it's, like, hot dogs on boat season. You know? Dude, I can't wait for that. I love a hot dog. The last thing I wrote was... Summer is like less makeup time. It's going to be hot. So get your skincare right. Mm-hmm. I want to start gua sha because like my jawline is such an insecurity of mine. Like I know so weird. I've talked about it on here before. But like I think I just need a gua sha. So I'm going to get one because I just want to be snatched for summer. Yeah. I tried doing that. I don't think it made much of a difference. So I feel like you have a really lean face though. Not not two years ago. That's when I was doing it. Maybe. Or a year ago. It was chunky. <laughs> I had a chipmunk face. Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try to do it yeah. and keep y'all updated on if I like it or not. But like summer's no makeup season. Like yeah. it's going to be hot as fuck. It is going to be hot and it's going to be hot quick. And I'm honestly excited for Me it. Me too. Because I woke which, up today and it was 45 degrees. What the fuck? Which like speaking of that, this fucking weather right now makes no sense. Obviously, it's so cold at the beginning of the day and then gets hot. But please explain to me why on Thursday the UV is going to be a nine and like the high of the actual weather is like in the 70s. It doesn't make sense to me. I'll be laying by my pool. Yeah, I'll definitely be laying out. But either way, I'm like UV of nine, 78. Well, like kind of love because then you're not like sweating. Like yeah, crazy. I do like that. But it just in my mind, that just doesn't add up. Oh, my God. I, when I went down to the pool the other day, it was like in the 70s with a high UV. I went in the pool. Oh, my God. It yeah, was a the cold pool, plunge. I would imagine. Because I feel like the, most of the pools here, they don't actually heat. Like, it was literally a cold plunge. Heat. Felt good, though. Yeah. But those are some things to keep in mind for Hot Girl Spring because it's officially, like, I don't know when the first official day of spring was, but it's, like, more daylight now than there is darkness. Yeah. Struggle to get out of bed now. Well, not yeah. as much. I'm still fucking waking up at, like, 7. Yeah, but, but it's dark. Yeah, it's dark when I get up. And I'm like... Ugh. Today I woke up at seven and it was dark. And I'm like, yeah. What the fuck? Also fucking gloomy, but it's a beautiful day now though. Yeah. Gorge. Okay. Gotta hit some legs oh, today. Yes. Teach dance today. I gotta choreograph and pick a fucking song. I can't pick a song for the life of me. Yeah. But that's it for me. That's it for me too. I like how we say that's it after like. After I've talked for an like hour, an hour and 15, 15 minutes. minutes, we're like, well, that's it. <laughs> Nothing more I can say. But actually, no, that the same time, it's always like a day later. I'm like, fuck, I wish I talked about that. So, there's no, just there's just so never much en- to there's say. never enough to talk about. But never enough time. Sometimes my brain just fucking turns into mush. Like my boyfriend will ask me, what do you talk about? I'm like, I just like don't even want to talk about it because my brain's a mush right now and I don't want to re talk about it. So, yeah, that's it. Well, See y'all next week.
Adios. Bye. Bye.